Say, Father, everything and everyone that hindered my miracles, my blessings in year 2019, let your fire consume them now. Open your mouth and declare, Father, in the name of Jesus, whatever and whoever hindered our blessings, our miracles in year 2019, Father, in this early day of the new year, let your fire consume them in the name of Jesus. In this new year, remove every obstacle to my miracles. Come and pray. Every obstacle to my miracles, remove in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In the name of Jesus. I don't expect going up and down now. Please. It's very essential. That is your first prayer action in the new year. You are laying a very solid foundation. You have greeted. You, are, you still have time to greet. Let's pray. Philippians 4.13. Philippians 4.13, Paul said, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. You are going to pray and say, Father, whatever was difficult for me to achieve, to possess, or to become in year 2019, by your grace, mercy, and favor, let it become easy for me in this new year. Come on, open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Whatever was difficult for me, for my wife, for my children, for us in our family in this ministry to achieve, to possess, to become in year 2019. Oh, Lord God, by your grace, by your mercies, by your favor, let us achieve them by ease. Let them become easy for us to achieve, to possess in this new year. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we are prayed. Come and let your amen sound better. Moses told God in Exodus 3 verse 15. He said, if your presence will not follow me, don't take us from here. And God said in verse 14, my presence shall go with you and you will have your peace. You are going to pray and say, Father, throughout this year, let me experience your presence. Let me enjoy your presence at all times and in all places, so as to experience honor and rest. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, throughout this year, let me and my wife and children, every member of my family, every member of this ministry, everyone under the sound of my voice, let us enjoy your presence at all times and in all places, in the name of Jesus, so as to enjoy honor and rest. Come watch me, Father. Do not forsake me. Don't abandon me. Don't forsake my wife and children. Don't abandon us in our family in this ministry. Let us enjoy all and rest as your presence accompanies us in all places. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we are prayed. In the name of Jesus. He said in Deuteronomy chapter 11, Verses 10 to 12, I quoted that scripture the other time. It said, the land which your God is taking you to is the land that your God careth for. Verse 12. His eyes are upon you from the beginning of the year, even to the end. You are going to pray and say, Father, let your eyes be upon me from the beginning of this new year to the end to care for me and to provide for me. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, let your eyes be upon me and my wife and children. Let your eyes be upon our family, marriage, and ministry. Let your eyes be upon our business, our investment. From the beginning of this new year to the end. Oh, Lord God, to care for us and to provide for us. In the name of Jesus, care for me and provide for me. Care for my wife and children. Care for us in our family, in this ministry. Provide for us. Let your eyes be upon us. Let your eyes be upon our children. Let your eyes be upon our youths. Upon every member of this ministry. Upon every worshiper. Let your eyes be upon us. Care for us, O oh Lord. Take care of us and provide for us. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. 
In this new year, you will enjoy the mercies of God. In the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 138 verse 8. The Bible says, the Lord will perfect that which concerned me. Your mercy, O Lord, endure forever. Forsake not the works of your hand. You are going to pray and say, Father, by your mercy, perfect everything that concerns me in this new year. Don't give up on me, O Lord. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, by your mercy, perfect everything that concerns me and my wife and children in this new year. Everything that concerns our marriage, our family and ministry, everything that concerns this church, perfect it in this new year. Don't give up on any one of us. Don't give up on us. Don't give up on my children. Don't give up on my wife. Don't give up on me, O oh Lord. Don't give up on this ministry. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are prayed. In the name of Jesus. You are going to pray and say, Father, in all my journeys this year, Go before me, remove every barrier. Open my eyes to great blessings. Come on, open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, in all our journeys throughout this year, as you did for Cyrus, go before me and my wife and children. Go before us. Remove every barrier. Remove every obstacle. In the name of Jesus, open our eyes to great and mighty blessings. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we are prayed. In the name of Jesus. In this new year, you will not call in vain. You will not pray in vain. Jeremiah 33, verse 3. He says, call unto me and I will answer thee. And I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. We are going to pray and say, Father, each time I call you this year, Answer me speedily. Give me great and mighty blessings. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, each time I call you throughout this year, answer me speedily. Each time my family and everyone under the sound of my voice we call you this year, answer us speedily. Give us great and mighty blessings. Great and mighty blessings. Great and mighty blessings. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we are prayed. In the name of Jesus. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 16. Ephesians 5, 16 says, Redeeming the time, because the days are evil. You are going to pray and say, Father, I reject for myself and all my loved ones every evil, every disaster that is in the new year. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I reject for myself for my wife and children, for every member of my family and ministry, every disaster, every evil that is in this new year, in the name of Jesus, I reject shortages and losses. I reject death in the name of Jesus. I reject failure. I reject disappointment in the name of Jesus. I reject delay. I reject death. I reject accident. I reject kidnapping. For anyone in my family, for anyone in this ministry, no disaster, no evil will follow us in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed in the name of Jesus. Are you, are you still there? Revelation chapter 22, verses 1 to 3. God said, he said, he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God. The Bible says, in the midst of this street of it, on the either side of the river was the tree of life, which bear twelve manner of fruits, and yielded our fruits every month. Ah, every month of this year, you will have great miracles. And that's why you are going to pray and say, Father, for each of the twelve months of this year, give my family and I great miracles, great blessings to celebrate. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. For each month of this year, give my family and I, give every member of this ministry, everyone under the sound of my voice, great miracles, great blessings to celebrate. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we are prayed. In the name of Jesus. Our scripture for this year is Isaiah 40, 31. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 40, 
verse 31. He said, those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. You are going to pray and say, Father, carry me on the wings of your grace, mercy, and favor throughout this year. Let me record limitless progress in every area of my life. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, throughout this year, carry me on the wings of your grace, mercy, and favor. Carry my wife and children. Carry us on the wings of your grace, mercy, and favor. In the name of Jesus, let us record limitless progress in every area of our lives. In every area of our lives. In the name of Jesus, throughout this year, we will not be weak. We must not be sick. We must not be wearied. We must not be tired. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we are prayed. In the name of Jesus. Three more prayers before I declare the prophetic declarations. In, in Psalm 20, verse 4, the NIV translation says, May God give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. I like that. You are going to pray and say, Father, according to your words, make all my plans in year 2020 to succeed. Come and open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, according to your words, let all my plans in year 2020 succeed. Let all the plans of my wife and children in year 2020 succeed. As a family, as a ministry, let all our plans in this year succeed. Don't allow any of our plans to fail. In the name of Jesus, are you praying at all? All my plans in ministry, all my plans in career, every plan over my wife, over my children, over my business, let all my plans in this new year succeed. Don't let any one of them fail, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. And the next verse of that scripture, Psalm 20, verse 5, the same NIV translation. He said, may we shout for joy over your victory and lift up our banners in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all what? Say it. You are going to pray and say, Father, according to your word, let the sound of victory and great joy always be heard in my family throughout this year. Grant all our requests. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, according to your words, let the sound of victory and great joy always be heard in my family, in this ministry, throughout this year. Grant all our requests in the name of Jesus. Let there be celebrations in every home, in every family, in your church, in all our gatherings, in all our meetings, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray. God said in Exodus, this is the last prayer point, Exodus 13, verses 9 and 10. Exodus 13, verses 9 and 10. He said, and it shall be for a sign unto thee upon thy hand, and for me a memorial before your eyes, that the Lord's law may be in the mouth. For with a strong hand as the Lord brought thee out of Egypt. We have said farewell, goodbye to Egypt tonight. And that's why you are going to pray and say, Father. Because he said in verse 10, he said, Thou shalt therefore keep this ordinance in a season from year to year. Say, Father, let this year 2020 be an unforgettable year, an unforgettable year for good for me and my family. In all areas, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, let year 2020 be for me, for my wife, for my children, for us in our family, in this ministry, an unforgettable year for good. In all areas, let this year be an unforgettable year for good. In all areas, for us and our family members, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we are prayed. I declare in the name of Jesus, this is my prophetic declaration for the new year. For you and your family, in the name of Jesus, everything and everyone that hindered your miracles in the year past, 
I see the fire of the Lord consuming them in this early day of the new year. In the name of Jesus, every obstacle to your miracles are hereby removed. No obstacle to your miracles anymore. In the name of Jesus, whatever was difficult for you to achieve in year 2019, in the name of Jesus, very early this year, you will achieve them with ease. You will acquire them with ease. You will, you will become them with ease. Every door you knock that didn't open in the last year, in this early day of this year, the hand of the Lord will open them unto you. In the name of Jesus, God's presence will go with you. You will enjoy his presence at all times and in all places. You will have rest. You will have peace of mind. In the name of Jesus, in the night, God will be with you. In the morning, God will be with you. When you go out, he will be with you. When you come in, he will be with you. His eyes shall be upon you and all yours. From the beginning of this year to the end, he will care for you. He will provide for you. In the name of Jesus, by his mercy, everything that concerns you in this new year shall be perfected. In the name of Jesus, God will not give up on you. He will not give up on you. In the name of Jesus, the grace and the glory of the Lord will not will be withheld from you. In the name of Jesus, all your requests shall turn to testimonies. In this new year, you will enjoy the grace of God. You will enjoy the glory of God. No good thing will be withheld from you. In the name of Jesus, as he did for Cyrus, he will do for you. The Lord will hold your hand. He will go before you. He will straighten every crooked way. In the name of Jesus, he will open every stubborn gate for you. In all your journeys this year, no obstacle shall stand on your way. In the name of Jesus, each time you call on God, he will answer you. Speedily, he will answer you. He will give you great and mighty blessings. In the name of Jesus, you have rejected evil that are in this year. None of them will click to you. You will not experience any evil in your family throughout this year. But all the blessings in year 2020, they shall locate you. In the name of Jesus, as you look forward to this new year, all your great desires that you perceive shall be granted unto you. In the name of Jesus, all your desires shall turn to testimonies. In the name of Jesus, each month of this year shall deliver great blessings. Great miracles in the name of Jesus. Meaning that in every month of this year, there shall be celebrations in your family. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will carry you on the wings of his grace, mercy, and favor. You will enjoy the help of God. Your progress will be without limit. In all areas, you will experience progress. In your career, in your marriage, in your ministry. In the name of Jesus, all your plans this year shall succeed. No one will fail. Every family, under the sound of my voice, all the plans of every member of your family shall succeed. No one in your family shall die this year. You will all live to declare the goodness of the Lord. In your family this year, you will, sound for, you will shout for joy. There shall be sound of victory and great joy to be had in your family throughout this year. It shall be a year you will remember for good. In the name of Jesus, you will go from glory to glory, from greater heights to greater heights. In the name of Jesus, welcome one more time to the year of limitless progress. Shout a believing amen. Shout a resounding amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The next thing to do now is to sprinkle ourselves with the blood of Jesus. This blood of sprinkling is to mark us and everything that belongs to us for protection and for favor. For what? In the new year, you will enjoy protection and favor in the name of Jesus. How many of us were here last year? You were here last year. I decree. By this time next year, you will still be alive. 
in the name of Jesus. By year 2021, I say you will still be alive. Nothing will take you away in the name of Jesus. Paul said in Galatians 6, 17, he said, henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. That is the mark coming upon us this morning. No sickness will trouble you. Poverty will not trouble you. Lack will not trouble you. Barrenness will not trouble you. Oh, evil, evil, evil doers will not trouble you. Our youth, our children, no gun, uh, 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 wedding man will trouble you. In the name of Jesus, people who are engaged in knife crime will not trouble our children. Can I hear your amen? This mark will bring favor to us. He said in Psalm 5 verse 12, For thou, O Lord, will bless the righteous, and with favor will thou compass him as with a sheet. Wherever you turn to this year, the mark of favor will speak for you in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. And I decree by this blood of sprinkling, we are renewed the covenant of long life. According to Genesis chapter 15, verse 15. Genesis 15, 15 says, And thou shalt go to thy fathers in peace, and thou shalt be buried in good old age. Can I hear your amen? Can I hear your amen? In the name of Jesus, if anything is threatening you or your business or your project this year, remind God of his covenant with Freedom Arena. And what is the covenant? Psalm 91 verses 15 and 16. Psalm 91, verses 15 and 16. That is talking about you. He said, you shall call upon him and he will answer you. He will be with you in trouble. He said, I will deliver him and honor him. Verse 16 says, with long life will I satisfy him and I will show him my salvation. You will enjoy long life. You will enjoy good health. You will enjoy honor and favor this year in jesus name rise up on your feet as we pray and say father come on say father by your blood mark me for protection and with favor throughout this year open your mouth and pray father in the name of jesus by your blood mark me with favor mark me for protection and for favor mark me with your blood for favor and protection mark my wife and children with your blood, for favor and for protection throughout this year. In the name of Jesus, wherever I will get to in year 2020, let your blood speak for me. Let your blood speak protection. Let your blood speak favor for me, for my wife, for my children. In the name of Jesus, are you praying at all? By your blood, I will not lose any life. My own life will not be lost. I will not lose any property. In the name of Jesus, by your blood in year 2020. I will not weep. I will not sorrow. I will not suffer any loss or shortage. In the name of Jesus, by your blood, I am divinely covered and highly favored. So shall it be in Jesus' name. By the blood of Jesus, you are covered. Your family members are covered. Everything you possess is covered. In the name of Jesus, you will not suffer any loss. No calamity, no death, no shortages, no losses for you. In the name of Jesus, day and night, home and abroad, this blood of Jesus will speak for you. We speak for your favor. We speak for your protection. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen.